On this episode of China Uncensored, when a giant Chinese corporation goes bankrupt, should the Chinese government bail it out or let it fail? In the case of Anbang Insurance Group, the decision was neither. No, the government has their own unique solution. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. The Chinese Communist Party loves to have its influence felt around the world. That's one reason why, over the last few years, it's been encouraging Chinese companies to buy up assets overseas. It's even supported them with policies like low interest rate loans from Chinese state-owned banks. For example, the Chinese company Dalian Wanda bought up AMC Theaters, which owns about a third of American movie screens. Shuanghui International bought Smithfield Foods, so they can literally bring home the bacon. And Anbang Insurance Group has spent $10 billion buying up hotels and resorts, including the Waldorf Astoria, from which I have been banned for life. But now, Anbang Insurance Group is facing a bit of a problem. China Uncensored producer Matt Ganezda reports. Thanks, Chris. For more than a century, the Waldorf Astoria was one of America's great hotels, a host to U.S. presidents, world leaders, and weird tea parties. But now this proud testament to American history, hospitality, and sophistication is run by the Chinese government. Here's what happened. In 2014, privately owned Chinese conglomerate Anbang Insurance Group bought the Waldorf for almost $2 billion. Anbang also bought billions more in other American companies and hotel chains. U.S. investors were happy to work with Anbang. Anbang was willing to pay big money. And who doesn't love getting big money? In fact, investors loved Anbang's big money so much, they were willing to overlook Anbang's other shady business operations. But it turns out, Anbang had pulled a Lehman brother of sorts. That is, they're a $100 billion company that made risky, highly leveraged investments. And they went into quite a bit of debt as part of their spending spree. What could go wrong? Apparently a lot. In late February, Chinese authorities prosecuted Anbang CEO for economic crimes. And Chinese regulators took control of the company. But it's only for a year. But it could be more than a year if they feel like it. This government takeover is a very different approach than the U.S. took with Lehman Brothers in 2008. The U.S. just let Lehman Brothers fail. Its poor employees turned out into the streets with nothing but their $5,000 suits. According to Bloomberg, Anbang was doing something similar to what went on during the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis in the U.S. For example, thanks to some financial alchemy, Anbang had been posting pretty good growth in its life insurance business. And when I say pretty good, I mean that from 2010 to 2016, Anbang's annual life insurance premium revenue increased by 11 million percent. If I had a nickel and grew it at 11 million percent, I'd have enough to buy one of those $5,000 suits. Anyway, Anbang was taking life insurance products, repackaging them, and selling them to investors with the promise of high interest rates. And who doesn't love earning high interest rates? Pretty soon, life insurance made up 96 percent of Anbang's revenue and it was using all that extra revenue to buy up cool playthings, like the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. But maybe that was a bad idea, because they almost collapsed, and now the Chinese government has taken over. Now, as much as this sucks for Anbang, and its CEO who's going to jail for a long time, there's a bigger issue. It shows that China's government is willing to use heavy-handed tactics to take control of private companies. An analyst from the Economist Intelligence Unit says it's a warning shot to other companies that are leveraging investor money and complex financial products to buy assets overseas. Who will Chinese regulators go after next? It could be conglomerates like HNA Group. They own everything from real estate to airline catering to luxury hotels. It could be Dolly & Wanda, which owns movie theaters, film studios, and luxury hotels. Or it could be Fosun Group, which owns Canada's Cirque du Soleil, a British soccer club, and you guessed it, luxury hotels. So what do they all have in common, besides a weird fetish for luxury hotels? 
their CEOs are all being investigated by Chinese authorities. So the Anbang takeover could be a message to Chinese companies to clean up their financial transactions that have gotten a little too, shall we say, creative in the Lehman Brothers sense. Or else we'll arrest your CEO and take over your company. But this should also serve as a warning to American investors. When you do business in China, things can get really complicated really fast. One reason that Anbang made such a splash when it first started investing overseas, besides its seemingly endless billions of dollars, was its high-level political connections. Back in 2016, the Financial Times called Anbang one of China's most politically connected companies. Turns out, that might have been part of the problem. After the CEO was first taken into custody last June, the Epoch Times reported that he was close to a faction tied to former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin, and he helped his cronies launder money. And the New York Times found that Anbang's assets were mostly controlled by a series of shell companies owned by relatives of the CEO. By the way, that is not normal. So to recap, if you sell your company to a shady Chinese conglomerate with deep pockets, you might find that someday your company will be partly controlled by the Chinese government. Good thing Jared Kushner scrapped that deal to sell his Fifth Avenue building to Anbang. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Matt. Well, now that the Waldorf is directly controlled by the Chinese government, I doubt I'm getting my lifetime ban lifted anytime soon. So what do you think of the Chinese government takeover of Anbang? Leave your comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. Stay ahead of the curve and avoid getting caught unaware. Visit ChinaUncensored.tv. We upload full half-hour episodes you won't see on YouTube. Learn about the shady practices of the Chinese regime before even world leaders do. ChinaUncensored.tv